In this video, I'm going to show you CSS Form Builder 2. This is the newest version of WebAssist's form creation tool and includes invaluable new features such as integrated email and file upload functionality, HTML editor implementation to add WYSIWYG text elements, as well as more themes and theme it for faster and easier designing of your form. So let me show you how I'm going to use CSS Form Builder 2 to add a contact us form to a page on my, my website. So here's my travel website that I'm currently working on. I've already created a contact me page which I'm going to use for which I'm going to use for my contact form. And the first step before inserting your form is to place your cursor on your page where you want the form to be inserted. Then I'm going to go to Web Assist, Forms, Insert New Form. And this launches the CSS Form Builder user interface. A couple new things that you'll see right off the bat is a new form function tab which allows you to configure the email and file upload and HTML editor settings that you've added to your form. And a theme it button has been added so that you can easily update the colors and images used in your site to get a design that best matches your website. So the first thing I'm going to do is choose the type of form I'm going to create. And CSS Form Builder includes all these different options for you to choose from. So I'm going to choose Contact. And under the Contact Form group, I have a couple different types of contact form that I can choose from. So I'm going to choose the option that most closely matches what I'm trying to achieve on my page which is the simple contact option. The simple contact form is a basic form with the typical elements that you would see on a contact form. Now I'm going to show you how you can add more fields and modify some of the existing fields to create the form that you're looking for. So I click edit. And this interface allows me to configure different groups in my form. I'm going to, the first thing I'm going to do is add a new group underneath the comments group. Groups in CSS form builder can contain anywhere from one to many different form elements. For my example, I'm going to add one additional form element because I want the person who's filling out my form to be able to upload an image, which is a new feature in CSS Form Builder 2. So from the category list, I'll choose form elements to choose from all the form elements that are available. And under type, I will choose file large. And when I click apply, you'll see that it has added a browse field for the person filling out this form to be able to at attach an image. I'm going to now select this and make an additional modification by clicking edit. This interface lists all the different elements that are in the particular group that I'm editing. I only have the one file element right now so that's the only thing that's going to show up. So what I want to do now is change the label for this field. So in the label field uh, I'm going to enter upload an image. And when I click apply you'll see that label's been added next to the, t next to the field. So now that I'm done, I'm going to click Finish. And I'm asked if I want to save a preset. I'm not going to for this situation, so I'm just going to click OK. And I'll return to the interface for me to edit the different fields and elements that are on my page. So I'm going to make one last change before I move on to designing my form. I'm going to select the group that contains the Comments field and click Edit. And as you can see, this group contains the first three form elements of my page. I want to edit the comments field. And what I want to do is turn this, instead of being a regular text area, I'm going to change this to an HTML editor instance. So I'm going to choose the HTML editor option. So from the preview, I can see that I want a little bit of a wider HTML editor instance, so I'm going to change that in the size option to large. So now that I'm done making these changes to the form contents, I'm going to click Finish. Again, I'm asked if I want to save a preset. I'm just going to click OK and not save a preset. And now that I'm finished editing the contents of my form, I'm going to click Finish to go back to the main interface of CSS Form Builder. And this time I'm asked if I want to save, it, save my form contents as a preset. And, I, and, this, and I'm going to say yes this time. And I'm going to enter a new name for this preset. Now saving a preset is a good idea if you think you're going to create this type of a form for other sites in the future. You won't have to make those changes that I just showed you again. So here we are back at the main interface for CSS Form Builder 2. And the next step is to choose the design that looks the way you want it to look as part of your site. CSS Form Builder comes with a few new designs that are better suited to fit smaller content areas, but I'm going to choose a much wider design. So here's the design that I've chosen to use. However, there's a few design changes that I'd like to make because the colors don't perfectly match my website. So new in CSS Form Builder 2 is Themeit, which has been integrated to allow you to easily update the design of your site. 
Here's the theme interface where you can manage your colors or the images that are on your form. I'm going to make a few quick changes to show you how easy it is to customize the design of your site. So using the color picker I can choose any color that displays in my page. I'm going to choose the blue from the image on my site design. As you can see in the preview it instantly updated to show me that the background color of the text fields has been changed. So I'm also going to change the font color to be slightly something a little darker. So I'm going to also sample a color off the image. So that's really all the changes I need to make for my form design right now, but you could continue to change all the colors that you see by just choosing different options from Themeit. So I'm going to click Finish, and as with other interfaces in Themeit, I'm asked if I want to save a preset, and again I'm going to choose Yes, and I'm going to enter a name, because next time I create a form for this website, I already have some of the design cho some the design already selected so that I don't have to do this again. So, so, for the la so the last thing for you to do in CSS Form Builder 2 is configure the functionality that's going to be added to your page. So choose the Form Function tab. On the Form Functions tab are options or settings or any of the form elements that you've added to your form that have additional settings in order to be configured. For example, if you want this to send an email, you can check this box here. And when the form is submitted, an email will be sent. So to specify who you want the email to come from, you can enter a static entry or something dynamic by choosing the lightning bolt. So for the to field, you can do the same, enter a static address or something dynamic by choosing the lightning bolt. I'm going to want these to come to me, so I enter my email address. And then you can enter any subject you want. Now this uses the now the email settings of CSS Form Builder use the email functionality that was previously found in Universal Email. So this also includes the form templates that were also available in Universal Email. So you can choose from these four different email templates that you'd like so that a more attractive email is delivered. You can also choose Edit here to open up the Universal Email interface and make even more customizations. So I'm going to click Edit to open up the Universal Email interface and I'm going to show you how you can configure an attachment to the form that you're creating. So here's the universal email interface. As you can see, there's a lot more settings than there were on the form function tab. I'm just going to choose the attachments option from the toolbar here. Click add on the attachments interface. And choose the submitted file option. And it automatically chooses the file field that I have on my form because obviously that's the only way somebody's going to be able to attach a file to this email. And then finish to close universal email. And so now if I wanted to, I could also have the, fi the file that's uploaded using the, from the file field uploaded to a specific folder on my server. I'm going to uncheck this right now, but if you wanted to use this feature, all you have to do is enter the path to a folder that you'd want to use. And then the HTML editor instance that I've added to my page has additional settings for configuring the advanced file manager and applying security assist security if you have security assist applied to your site. So if I wanted to so in order to do that, you just click at Edit, and the interface that you need to configure those settings will open up. So now I'm done creating my contact form. I'm going to click Finish to have it inserted to my page. So here you can see my form's been added to my page. And if I preview it in a browser, you'll see that my contact form looks just like I designed it. And it's completely functional with the HTML editor instance, the file upload option. And when I click Contact Me, it's going to send me an email. So that's how easy it is to use CSS Form Builder 2 to create a content form. You can use it for a variety of other use reasons, such as user registration forms, login forms, or really any form that you want to create. To learn more about CSS Form Builder 2 and our other extensions and solutions, check us out at webassist.com. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this feature tour.